Hello guys, my name is Renato Santos and I'm an Android developer. So in this tutorial, I'm going to share how I have been implementing MVP architecture in the apps I've built. And to do so, I have developed a Tinder-like sample application that you can check out on my GitHub link on the description. I hope you know the basics of Android API and object-oriented programming because this is not the focus here. Okay, so let's get started. But first, short story. In the past, there was the God activity, which was an activity that was responsible for pretty much everything. The problem was that when it was required to do small changes, it was a pain. You know, all the logic was so duplicated and would affect pretty much the whole app structure. And designing a good architecture for your application may help you to avoid these kind of problems. I have been using MVP in the projects at work because it makes the structure of the app easy to change and test. Also, it makes the code more readable. Said so, let's start with the easiest part, the view. The view is where you're going to present the data. It could be an activity, a fragment, and so on. You should make the view passive and the simplest as possible. See this example here. This is the voting activity of our Tinder-like app. It shows you profiles to vote. If you take a quick look into this activity, you see that there is no logic here, no conditional if-else. It simply shows the data and forwards the user interaction. Those are the most important role of the view. Show the data and forward user interaction. Let's talk about showing role. To show the data, we can use an interface that will act as a contract between the view and the presenter. This is the interface. I have named it as a voting activity view. I have six methods. A show loading method to show loading while I'm fetching the profiles. A hide loading once the profiles are ready. Show profiles to show the profiles for voting. Show negative vote to swipe card to left once the broken heart icon is clicked. Show positive vote to swipe card to right once the heart icon is clicked. And show match to give a feedback to the user once there is a match. In the activity, what I do is I implement this interface. So in the show loading, I change the visibility of a progress bar to visible. In the hide loading, I do the opposite. In the show profiles, I provide the list to my adapter that will present it in, inside my component. In the show negative vote and show positive vote, all I do is I just call the cards animation and finally in the show match, I simply show a dialogue for simplicity's sake. And that is the end of the show responsibility of the view. So let's talk about the second role of the view, forward. The view, that is our activity, is responsible for forward the user interaction. So here in the, in the voting activity, you can vote yes, sliding the profile to the right, or clicking on the heart icon. You can vote no by sliding it to the left or clicking on the broken heart icon. So as you can see here, I set the listeners of each button. Once I click the heart icon, the view called the presenters method on positive button clicked. As our view is done, it doesn't really know what means to click on the heart button, which means I couldn't call this method as on vote yes, because since the view is done, it doesn't really know what means to click on its buttons. It just forwards the user interaction. And so I have done the same for all the other buttons and actions. On slide profile to left, on slide profile to right, and on negative button clicked. And that's it. Doing so, we have made our view dumb and we have removed all logic from the activity, making it super simple to read and maintain. 
So if you like this video, please thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comments. In the next video, I'll show you how to implement the presenter part of our Tinder-like sample app. Thank you for watching.